Hi, I'm going to introduce you to Boolean. Boolean is one of the eight primitive types in Java. There are exactly two possible values, true or false. If you need a format specifier in a format string that represents a Boolean value, you can use percent %b. And the default value for Boolean is false. Let's have a look at an example. I'm going to declare a variable. My type is Boolean. My name is finished. I'm going to initialize it with the value false because I'm not finished yet. And I'm going to print it. System out print f finished percent b for boolean value that I'm going to pass and percent n for my new line. Here is finished. I'm going to compile and run and you can see finished is at that point false. There are some operators that return Boolean values. The two equality operators are the equals operator and the not equals operator. Also the relational operators, greater, less than, greater equal, less than equal. So here I'm going to make an example. I make another Boolean variable. I call it result. And I'm going to assign it the resulting value of an expression. Let's say 2 plus 2 is 4. So here I'm going to use the equality operator that is testing whether uh, the operand on the left hand side is equal to the operand on the right hand side. Notice these are two characters different from the assignment operator. I need two of these, equals, equals. This is my equality operator. Now I'm going to uh, print the result again to speed myself up a little bit. I'm going to copy paste here. Uh, this time I'm pr uh, printing the result. And let's see what that is. I'm going to compile and run. It tells me result is true because two plus two is four. If I would change that to 5, I would run it again. Not surprisingly, result is false. If I see I'm not going to test for equality, but for the opposite, that my left-hand operand is not equal to the right-hand operand, then it's going to be true again. It says, yes, 2 plus 2 is not 5. I could also compare, I could say 2 plus 2, is this less than 5? And yes, that would be the case, and greater than 5, not really. So you can see, returns false. I can also use Boolean as the return type of a method. I could write a private method. It needs to be static because I'm going to use it in main. It's going to return a Boolean value. I call it is even. I'm going to pass an integer number. And here I check. I'm going to return true if my number is even, false otherwise. And the way I check whether my number is even is by calculating the remainder of a division by two. So I say, well, if my remainder of the division by 2 is 0, that means even. If the remainder of a division by 2 is not 0, well, then it's not even. I'm going to print the result again, and I'm going to reuse my variable result. So I say result gets assigned the value returned by is even when I call it, let's say, with the number 5. Here I'm writing system out print f result of is even in uh, when I call it with five is percent b boolean value once again my new line to go with it and I'm passing my result. So 
So here I'm going to compile and run. It tells me result of is even 5 is false. Now if this would have been is even 6, as a matter of fact, we should also update the label to make more sense of the output. Then it tells me the result of is even 6 is true. There's one more operator I want to show you, and that is the NOT operator. The NOT operator looks like an exclamation mark, and if I place that in front of a Boolean value, let's say true, that will give me the opposite. So NOT true would be false. Let's verify that in a print statement, system out printf, and I say NOT true is my Boolean value, new line, and I'm uh, printing the value of not true here. I compile and run. You can see not true is false. Here I'm using the not operator in combination with a boolean literal. I can also use it in combination with a boolean variable. I could say at this point finished gets assigned not finished, which means it's going to flip the value. If it was true, it's going to be false. If it was false, it's going to be true. And if I print my newly updated value of finished again, it is going to tell me that at this point finished is true.